Uh, so today we're going to talk about managing multiple schedules. So not only managing your schedule, but sort of how you can manage that with your students and your, if you have multiple students, siblings, managing multiple schedules. I think it's really important that you um, bring structure into this. And so having the child have their schedule and then as a parent, you have your schedule and then as a sibling, they would have theirs. And it's just keeping it really structured and everyone kind of knows what those expectations are for the day. And sharing those schedules with each other is really important. Right, so then the student knows when it's okay for them to check in with you or it's okay to check in with a sibling if they have one. Yeah, I think it's important to, to you know, the younger kids that maybe don't have school work um, are preschool kiddos or siblings that are able to maybe follow a schedule but not given actual structured work that they have a schedule too, not only so they feel included but so... Um, our students also feel like everybody is kind of on a schedule and we're all trying to follow a routine. I think it's important to remember it's not going to be perfect the first time. Right. Um, you can write a schedule on a notebook piece of paper. You can print it out. It doesn't have to be fancy. Write it on a dry erase board. Right. You, we, you can be creative. Um, you can have days that you absolutely don't follow the schedule. You all sleep in. You have a movie day. You, you don't have to follow a strict schedule every single day. That's going to be hard and it's good for our students to be flexible. It's really important so that our um, students know what to expect so that they can see what that looks like throughout the day and, and what they need to do. Um, and so they'll know when everything's done um, or, or maybe, oh, I don't really like math, but I see that something right after it is really exciting. So that's okay that I can get through that, that math because I really want to make a snack with mom. I think it's important to think of that piece too when you're creating the schedule is if you know that your child has um, less preferred activities then having those be first and then creating a schedule around their preferred and unpreferred is important and even if you don't know all of those right away take the first couple weeks um, reach out to teachers, reach out to us. We can help with some ideas with that. So let's say your child really struggles with math. It's unpreferred. You already know that it's unpreferred, um, but they absolutely love to um, go outside and maybe swing or go on the slide if you have one or, or simply play outside. Even if it is a little cold, I think it's important to keep our kids outside during this time. So having a math activity for maybe 15 minutes and then being able to go outside for the next 15 minutes could be a really positive for them in their day. And I think too, what might be important um, before the non-preferred activity like math, setting them up for success for that activity by giving them something that you know that they're going to enjoy, like a coloring sheet yeah. or something like that. It's kind of a strategy, um, and so it's almost like the sandwiching. So you'd put that math that is difficult in between two preferred activities. And know that when we're first starting all of this, if math is something that's really hard, keep it really short and successful. And so I think it's so important that you um, end on a success for the day. So no matter if you didn't get to that last um, activity, but you're ending on a really, really uh, fun, successful thing, then the child's gonna wanna come back and do and work with you the next day. Yeah.